This is Ernest Evans, played by Valis77 on the good old longplays.org. Good people. FYI. Good people. And this is this game is done by Project Wolf Team. They are the not, best team. Not so good people. Welcome to the Symmetrical Jungle. <laughs> and, uh, this is not a great way to open your video game, but... What do you think they're saying? Um, are you sure you want to ship a, wood, a parcel and a block of wood out here? Where are we going, Anime Indie? <laughs> super Saiyan Anime Indie? I am Super Anime Indie, and this is a no-smoking jungle, thank you. <laughs> also, this cut on my cheek will not heal. I think his one eyebrow is going through his hair there. Pants are a little high, buddy. Maybe you wouldn't be so uptight if you... That's, the reason he didn't want him smoking is because of the amount of hairspray he needs. It makes his head highly flammable. He's like a human match with the world's tiniest ass. Look at that, he's shaped like a fucking triangle. So welcome to Uncharted 3. <laughs> I'm your host, uh, Slow Beef, and with me as always is Diabetes. Hello. Hello. And um, This is Drake a game is... about a variety of Evan, people named Evan, who are very honest. Let's keep the visual scenes on. Thank you, Valis. Seventy-seven. Good. Good. This is a hundred percent run. I think. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is a video game. Um. Somehow, Wolf Team decided on a new animation style for this game. <laughs> Was it based on Quop? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is Quop the game, and now we're fighting a tunnel of wind socks. <laughs> 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 That's some that's some realistic movement there. Well, I gotta say, that first cutscene prepared me fully for this. By the way, I showed someone this video and she asked me, Is he supposed to be human? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, but... Uh... I, I don't know what what, what we're climbing uh, or what's being... Uh... <laughs> controls in this game. Actually, I have played this game before. And, uh... The controls are as good as they look. <laughs> it's, well, you gotta hit Q, W, O, and P in just the right combination <laughs> to climb. Plus, you've got a whip that he's flailing around like he's crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even the enemies don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't even think they know what they are. I don't know if you noticed that flip maneuver he just did by hitting the hook. Who cares? This game is too wild. You know, I miss the era of video games where every single thing explodes. <laughs> well, the best, is, the best is even stuff like explodes when it doesn't explode. Which seems like a paradox, but somehow isn't with Ernest Evans. Oh, we got an upgrade. Maybe we'll show that off in a bit. But, but, oh. <laughs> you, you missed that hook somehow. It seemed like you had it. Let's look at the enemies we've got so far, right? Right. Giant flailing earthworms, which are really like wind socks. Yeah, and they explode into Dr. Mario pills. Right. Hedgehogs, which are really not dangerous at all. And then, um... Oh, wait, now we got bats. But we also have, like, skeletons that are twice the size of people flailing around. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, what just happened? That's how I fall asleep, by the way. <laughs> as uh, right. clumsily as possible. Power nap, over. Nobody's smoking, right? <laughs> oh, cool, we got the idol. Oh, and, and we disappeared. Huh? What, what? I'm oh. sorry, I couldn't admit. <laughs> Clearly, the, the message here is Indiana Jones with a giant pussy. <laughs> Look at what Ernest Evans fights. Wait, uh, uh, oh. All right, well, well, I don't think that was what I... was supposed to happen. <laughs> That's not how it worked in Indiana Jones. <laughs> this temple's engineers were Follow that worse. boulder, Indy! <laughs> Wait, was oh. there another boulder? Uh, Alright, well... Okay. Wait a minute, did that happen in Maine? <laughs> Look at the map! <laughs> New England, right? <laughs> Lobster trapping is really the most dangerous sport. Alright, off to... Off to South America. But we skipped Detroit and <laughs> Phoenix and Mexico City. I wonder what kind of great narration we're getting. Like, after escaping the temple, I immediately boarded, chartered a flight out of this crazy continent. My flighting skills are as clumsy as my walking ability. <laughs> this is a great cutscene. I'm glad they added voice to the static image. Wolf Team knows good direction. I think he's just listing out every location that's on this map. <laughs> I like the like how the sea gets darker to the east, like, and there's the dark Europe place. And the map blows up. Yeah, right here. Oh. -da 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 -da. Next level. I bet you. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but. Oh, all right. Is there a set? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I guess. I'm here now. 
Welcome to South America, where vines just gr grow and... What? <laughs> I wish someone would train me how to use my whip. So like I said, uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> Easter Island statues? And they were spinning it out of their nose. The, the arrows. Uh, uh, <laughs> look, see? <laughs> hey, look at that, he got hit. There's like no indicator when Ernest takes damage. <laughs> like, see, he's just draining his health. Oh, and that... Oh, boy. Ernest, Ernest Evans is programmed to destroy. <laughs> well, uh, uh, oh. Ernest, you're gonna run out of health. How can you see anything with these great graphics? Fortunately, How Ernest is, he... is programmed to breathe underwater. Oh. Well, that works. I wonder if that cut on his cheeks healed yet. Th that is water, right? I... <laughs> Presume. Maybe it's, maybe it's just really dirty e Extremely air. hot boiling water, maybe? <laughs> South America is just full of pollution. It's hot. You have to get really high up before you get out of the smog. <laughs> and there's... The... What? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a minute. So... <laughs> wow, this game is a train wreck. <laughs> I genuinely see Flash games that work out a little better than this. Oh, uh, okay, well, fortunately that one part of the rope bridge was really stable. So so this isn't on Newgrounds? <laughs> no, oh. shockingly. I was wondering why Where? I couldn't find any reviews. Is he climbing or having sex with the wall? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Come on, Ernest. <laughs> Ernest Devin, you are the er worst. Ernest, you are a lazy adventurer. <laughs> I'll just rub my face through this. Let me moonwalk like... crawl out. <laughs> Maybe he'll just randomly fall asleep again. <laughs> Way he runs. Ernest Evans, anime narcoleptic Indiana Jones. Ooh, with hey. hair. With hair. What are we doing here? We're, I guess we're getting another idol. I, I, I looked at Wikipedia like real, real briefly, and they didn't have a page on this, so I just guess. Are you supposed to dodge that? I don't think you are. I think you're supposed to... Ernest yeah, Evans is... Uh, oh, by the way, speaking of lazy, here's the world's laziest boss. <laughs> oh, that's a boss. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a boss. So stop penetrating that thing. That's disgusting. It's like an alien scorpion. Please. Thing. Gross. And there's also bugs. And now the tail is just hovering and shooting arrows. And I'm starting to think Ernest Evans is not the most realistic video no. game. Ernest is going a, doing a good job of activating the C4 on all of these things. <laughs> He just looks like a crazy person, the way he <laughs> <laughs> ah, get away from me! I don't even know what I'm doing with this thing! It's like, I'm so accurate, I can whip Just whipping a bunch of sausages tied together. Uh, and now we're walking. This is not great animation, too. <laughs> Keep the shoulders straight. Perfect posture when we cross the rope bridge. <laughs> Only the postureful man will pass. Oh, hey, it's probably the villain. Doesn't Ernest know you can just walk under it? Oh, hey, my uh, cheek bandage is back. That wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> also, my jacket is now bright red. And now my hair is green. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is the most dangerous path I've ever walked because it has no guard. Why does my back have tits? <laughs> is what he's saying right now. <laughs> See here. Oh, good and welcome to the <laughs> week. Okay. Wow. <laughs> How was the player supposed to know or avoid? I, I think in the previous cutscene it said, "Watch the fuck out at the start of the next level." I bet as soon as I walk in the door. <laughs> oh, oh man, dagger scorpion, the worst. Yeah. Man, how is how is our hero going to avoid this volcano of death? <laughs> Holy shit! It's like it's like this temple went to war with him. <laughs> Throw- deploy the rib cages. <laughs> Are they bound- Oh, yes, we got rocks! Wait, Ernest Evans is set. What was that? <laughs> I think he just somersaulted into nothing. I still have my gymnastics training intact, right? Good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Arrival in Hell had better animation than this. <laughs> if, if the spike walls don't get him, then let's see about two bouncing rib cage balls. Man, now That's I'm seeing where Naughty Dog got all of its ideas. <laughs> I think ribcage balls are how skeletons have fun on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, MTV Spring Break for the undead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This... <laughs> there we go. Well, the explosives on them aren't dead. <laughs> um, oh, that, I don't think scorpions work like that. I don't think knives work like that. This is an excellent <laughs> hit detection in Ernest Evans. 
I was matrix dodging during that whipping. <laughs> he was shooting just slightly to the left of my neck. <laughs> His daggers, which all scorpions have in South America. Which I guess I meant. This is a very nice background, by the way. Good detail. <laughs> yeah. There. Just, uh, put put my ant farm off. on the background. <laughs> Maybe we're in a giant ant farm. Maybe. With no ants and rib cages. We're in a rib cage farm. Oh, and there's a very tiny cup of lava. <laughs> Who set up that spike trap? <laughs> I, I, I think it's broken! Jane, stop this crazy thing! <laughs> An engineering marvel. <laughs> Just keep it rotating. <laughs> Almighty. I feel no like one will think there's be... hidden treasure in a place this goofy. <laughs> I feel like you have to be having a seizure while playing to enjoy this game. <laughs> there we go. Um, they're not even gonna try. It's exploding, but it's not actually exploding. <laughs> it's making the convincing explosion sound, so we know. That... <laughs> I know, it sounds like diarrhea farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, oh god. Well, wait, alright, come on. How are you supposed to have dodged that? Wait, now we're switching to rocks? And it works? <laughs> Didn't you know? <laughs> Five rocks will kill this alien life form in the temple. All right, now we'll get the next cutscene should explain all this. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe. No, now we're really in the temple with the evil rock <laughs> fire-breathing turtle. <laughs> Who the fuck came up with all that? Uh, <laughs> what, oh, what okay. kind of... Well, the shell doesn't explode, just the rest of it. What, what the... the shit? I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like some right. ADHD kid came up with this game like, and you're in the temple and there's purple skulls and the fucking turtles have rocks and, and spikes on them and they breathe fire and... Alright, gentlemen, take these pills and let's do some design. Uh, <laughs> ah, the floating mace. My favorite kind of mace. <laughs> I think some psychiatrist wrote down someone's worst nightmares and just designed a video game around it. And then the eyes are clouding up and changing colors and spikes are coming out. Like, whoa, whoa, son. We gotta write the screenplay for Ernest Evans slowly. <laughs> but then they, they have, have the they have a good sense of detail, having, you know, the band-aid on... Ernest's face. Do you think that smoking guy's still waiting in the boat? <laughs> it's like, I wonder if I can have a cigarette now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, this is officially the greatest video game of all time. Ragdoll Evans, they call me. <laughs> I should really grab onto this medieval centrifuge. <laughs> the Aztecs were fucking brilliant. I'm the host, the temple, and the laboratory. <laughs> I landed that triple axle perfectly, said Ernest Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I was born without an inner ear. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Is he having a temper tantrum? <laughs> He's I don't really understand dizzy. what's happening to me. <laughs> it's finally all caught up with him. God, these turtles are awesome. He just realized the impossibility of his own existence. <laughs> I'll just whip forward and jump. Oh no, I'll just whip forward and... Oh, Ernest will be destined to run track in a very clumsy way and only <laughs> achieve a few meters at a time before giving up. <laughs> and his hair just stays the same through all of this. It's great. Does he have a face on his chest? Look at that white thing. What does that uh, <laughs> that's Wait, the... it's... hold on. It's the evil wizard. Oh, He's no. just spinning and, and, and striking a pose. <laughs> And dance! <laughs> and also giant swords, why the hell not? <laughs> Awful. And... Wait, was that the guy from the bridge? Who was think... watching Earth's heavens? Like, I'll take the back door into the temple. <laughs> Avoid all that shit and use magic. And disco? <laughs> well, how are you supposed to dodge any of this? How did, did you, you, how did you win? Run? How did he win? I... I whips? Wait, now, I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Now for the emotional part of Ernest Evans. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you were wearing a, a sheet a second ago. <laughs> I love you, first night I just met. 